Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of my folklore run-through. Now you may have noticed that last time, I ended the episode quite abruptly, and that was simply because my PS3 decided to play up and turn itself off. So I'm pretty sure I'm in exactly the same place I was before, and there happens to be a save point, so I'm going to take the liberty of saving. And right, here we go. So. Yeah, this looks like a nice little place, but I'm pretty sure this is the wrong way. So we're going to head back to the map we were just in, where we fought the big... I can't remember what it's called. The big hairy guy, that one. He seems to have spawned back, irritating me. Shall we run past? Ah, we're we'll taking... No, we'll run past. We battle them once. We don't need to battle them twice. Okay. And we're going to make our way towards the boss, hopefully. Fingers crossed. That's the plan, anyway. Right, we need to turn this down. Right, so we've got some elephants up ahead, and we don't know if we're going left or right, so let's have a little look. Now, I'm not entirely sure why my PS3 turned off. It had the red flashing light, so I thought, oh no, I'm doomed. But then, there doesn't seem to be any problem with it. I don't know if uh, that was just something that went wrong, but there we go. Eat roll out fanfies. Surely, how many hits do they take? It's one. Uh, we're going to resort this again if we can. Not. Fine. That wasn't too difficult. So this is the dead end on the map, I think. Maybe wrong. This is not the dead end on the map. Let's just keep going forward. Oh, there's a dot. Hmm. I want to explore a little bit more, so we're going to head the other way first. Let's have a little look around. Another elephant. Alright, you know what, let's go. We spent enough time milling around, having a look. I mean, even though that's what RPGs are all about, a little exploration. Let's head on towards the boss, I think. It's about time we knuckle down and kick someone's ass. So here we go. Oh, it's some fish things. Now, like I said, I had to run through from the start of the first chapter up to this point. So... I may be slightly better off, slightly worse off, and I'm not entirely sure. I think I've absorbed slightly less enemies of some and slightly more of others, so... Yeah, I've tried to keep it pretty much exactly the same. Uh, I took pretty much the same route coming here, I fought the same bad enemies, I absorbed the same enemies. Um, I might have had some more combo absorbed, so I would have got a little bit more XP off of some enemies. But other than that, I don't think... I changed anything too much, too drastically, so not to worry, hopefully. As long as my PS3 is supposed to do again, which I can't promise, uh, we should be should be plain sailing from here, and I just got burned. There isn't really a fish, water, fire Pokemon, is there? There should be. Maybe next gen. Gen 6. Oh. Roll up three doesn't do too much, does it? Get all three. Yes. That was a win. Right, well we need to go through here apparently. We're heading straight for the boss guys now, no dilly dallying, no walking around, we're going straight for the folklore. Um Right. Well this is a different map I see. Stand back a little bit. We'll take him out quickly. Shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. Done it once or twice already. There you go. Well, his claw slashing isn't too much. Back off. Oh, my door just slammed shut in the wind. If you can hear that, I apologise. Hell no.
That was much quicker than last time. Tug his soul out his ID. There we go. I think we flew through that. Oh, rank up. What does that mean? No idea what that means. I guess we just leveled up. Um, do we get to change anything in this menu? Maybe I just rank this guy up. Maybe that's the idea. No, maybe not. I don't know. It's confusing. Um, we're at full health. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's keep going on. Press forward. We must be closing in on this folklore, right? This first chapter seems quite long. I don't know how many chapters there are. I guess there's not too many. Well, there does seem like quite a lot. We've been here before. Hang on. We've just been around in one giant circle. Right. Right then. Well, I'm going to save my progress since I'm worried my PS3 is going to turn off at any second and I don't really want to have to run through it again. So sorry about this. Quick save and we will get on with it. Let's go towards this way. Towards the right. There's another blue dot down there, and there's another blue dot over here. No. Oh. oh well. It's gonna turn me away. Those steps magically spring butterflies, okay. So does the blue dot not point you towards the way we want to go then? Is that is that the idea? It seems it seems as it should, as if it should. But then there's only one way out of this map, so. I guess we're about to find out. What the heck? That is some sign of satanic ritual. Let's kill them all. No satanic rituals on my watch. How many can I get at once to grab That's four. It's another four. No, oh, I killed some. Well, that's that done. <laughs> they weren't too difficult. No, I don't think they were meant to be. Where is the folklore? Wow! Crazy, and there's no blue dot anymore either. Aye, aye, aye. Oops, sorry. Oh, here we go. Right. The picture book details weaknesses. Okay, we'll have a look at them. Picture book, shall we? Seen that one. Seen that one. Alright, okay, so it's weak to the big guy. Oh, and the fire guy? It looks like it. So you want the big guy to smash up his head? And you want the little the fly fire guy to I don't know. Smash up your head with this. That worked. Oh, was that it? It's just gonna stand there while we smash up his head. Let's do that then. Oh, oh, poison gas? What is this thing? I don't really know how to describe it. It's a Torterra with Vine Whip out. Poison Vine Whip. Smash up its head and then burn it. Yeah, we can't burn it yet. So if there's only one of these, I assume there's not. Because otherwise there wouldn't really be details on how to destroy it so... vividly. It rip off its head with the big guy. 
whatever his name is, and then burn it with fire. Oh, he's just taking hits like a boss, surely. He is a boss, I swear. Kill the Torterra. Oh, something's happening. Oh, cutscene. Does his head come off now? Right, burn it down. Oh, he's on top. Here we go. Fire top. Oh, oh, it's time to do a Venusaur now. Look at that. You really have taken inspiration from Pokemon, if you ask me. Fire is super effective against that. Oh, right. Okay, he can still dodge. I need to dodge with a shield. He's on fire. Die, Venusaur. Oh, damn. What attack would you call that one? I don't know. This is pretty much of a boss, it hasn't been so difficult. Maybe it's not the boss. That's a door again. Jeez, it's boss so massive. I want the Venusaur, come on. So it's a Torterra Venusaur. That's what we've established. Not even halfway. Come on. Oh, bitch money taking your soul. Your money, your wealth. Your life. That much, no need to struggle. Oh dear. Set the bar back. Oh, jeez, I've done it again. Come on. Oh. Hmm. Stupid Venusaur. This may Pokemon catch him like this. That way he wouldn't be. Hold down A. Hold down B. Press R1. Oh. I'm not falling for that trick. Come on, almost there. What's the R3 tutorial? I'm going to tell you how to do it again, just in case. Oh, no, no. Next one. Down you go. Yes! That's one folklore absorbed. A random door. Oh. How cliche. How chic, even. Oh, we're well, back where we started. That's grand. I found out FF starts for stands for F fast forward, by the way. Oh. That's normal. Busy doing what? Oh, so our friend, the primary school teacher, secondary school teacher, headmaster person, that's what she looks like anyway. Oh. Oh, so you said it was in her womb, apparently, you nasty thought.
there anything you'd like to tell me for? Something happened at church, apparently, so I guess that's our next stop. Well, oh, she turned into a... Don't know. A what the? It's an insect with a giant bogey on its back. Explode. Oh. Oh no, this is our memory, right? The mystery unravels. Well, I'm still no closer to guessing what's happening. Because really, since there's un -myst uh, mystical creatures, you can't really predict anything. Picture them as embers of memories. If you still seek out the dead, another netherworld door may open. You mean there are more realms? As many as the stars in the sky. If you do seek out more dead, another netherworld door should open. After all, you have to do is find another memento of the dead. And so, I bid you adieu until we meet next. Yeah, can't wait. I'd better go see Suzette. Mental. So, uh, we can leave out here. Uh, we can use the portal. Well, guys, thank you for watching. We're going to call it a day there. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will see you when we get back to the next part. Thanks for watching.